Businesses across the country and here in Western Washington are preparing for the worst. They're not sure what to expect, how people might react when election results start rolling in tonight. One thing's for sure, they want to avoid a repeat of what happened in the spring and summer on Seattle's Capitol Hill. King 5's Kara Alfallen is there this morning where uh, some of the businesses have already started boarding up their uh, businesses just to protect themselves because we don't really know how people are going to respond. A lot of high emotions out there, Kara. Mimi, good morning. Exactly. Businesses like this one, the Chase Bank here on Capitol Hill, have already boarded up their windows just because they're not sure what's going to happen. Still fresh on their minds, everything that happened with CHOP. And now they're uncertain, thinking about going into tonight. But the city of Seattle and also the FBI are saying that there are no threats that are supposed to happen today, tonight, or during election week. But still, they are trying to make sure that they are being prepared. So the FBI says during past elections, the focus has been on international security disruptions. But this year, domestic security is more of a concern. The city of Seattle says law enforcement agencies have a contingency plan in case it's needed. I think the city is preparing for all of these potential worst case outcomes diminish the chance that they happen. Seattle's FBI office says every FBI office across the country right now has a command center and the one here in Seattle is fully staffed and they are prepared to make sure that election week goes smoothly. Here on Capitol Hill right now, some of these businesses are actually boarding up right now. So some of them are already done it. Some of them are getting that done this morning in preparation for tonight because again, they just don't know what's going to happen. Live here on Capitol Hill, Kiara Elfallen, King 5 News.